Welcome back to another NBA 2K16 Rebuilding Challenge video. In today's challenge, I will be doing the Fantasy Draft Challenge. Now, if you've never heard of this and this is your first time watching me, first of all, make sure to, uh, you know, hit that subscribe button. But anyway, if you've never heard of this challenge, basically what I'm doing, as you see, Fantasy Draft is on, Draft Order is on, and Draft Type is fixed. Now, what I will be doing, I will be taking control of of the Brooklyn Nets reason being is because they only have one first round pick in the next three years so that will make it harder for me to win a championship in three seasons also with these challenges I have three years to win it or it's a bust so either I win it in three years and pass the challenge or don't win it in three years and fail yo we would have had the number one pick damn man we would have had the number one pick I would have gotten Steph but instead the Jazz now have the first pick. We have the 30th pick, and we are about to have the 30th pick for the rest of the draft. So this is what I'm doing. The assistant GM, a.k.a. the computer, is going to draft my team for me. And regardless of how good or, good or bad they are, I have to rebuild them into a championship contending team. So here we go. This is the team that the CPU drafted for me. And you guys already know how I feel about Chris Bosh in this game. Large contract. Don't really need him. But I might keep him for this year. I don't know. I might trade him in the offseason. Uh, Al Horford probably will end up trading because he is a free agent after this year. And I probably won't bring him back. JJ Redick, nice. Jeff Green, Jeff Teague, George Hill. I mean, this team is so, this team's awful. They really had to bring back Barg, Sean Marion. He's not even going to get any playing time. This team is very bad. This is the type of team you get with the 30th pick in a fixed round. And will they show me the power rankings? And I think it's just like set to have the Warriors and Spurs and Clippers at the top spots. So here is the rotation before I start making trades. I'm just going to see what I can get for certain players and you guys will be seeing that if not then you will be seeing the end of season one with no trades in the first trade of today's video i will be sending al horford and chris bosh to the milwaukee bucks for sergi baka and rudy gobert reason why i am doing this you guys know how much i love rudy gobert in this game and how much I love getting him in these videos. And I don't think I've ever gotten Sergi Baca in a video before. So let's go ahead and uh, accept that trade. Now the new starting five basically just inserts Ibaka and Rudy Gobert in there. And then real quick, I'm going to see what I can get for... Where is he at? Jeff Green. I will see what I can get for him. I'm... I'm not... I'm not too fond of him. Maybe I can get a better small forward out of it. I doubt it. Uh, you know, I'm probably going to make most of, ooh, the Lakers first round pick. But then again, I don't even know how good the Lakers are going to be. Like, I don't even know who's on their team. Yo, we could get Rondo. We could get Rondo. Okay, but other than that, that's basically it. Terrence Ross, Luol Dang. You know what? I'm not going to make any trades. Here's the starting five at the start of season one. Jeff Teague, JJ Redick, Jeff Green, Sergi Baca, and Rudy Gobert. And then four guys off the the bench all getting minutes why did the CPU have to draft Bargnani dude like why like out of all players it just had to be Barg so I will be simulating to the trade deadline seeing what happens if I make any trades you guys will definitely be seeing them but if not then as I said previously then you will be seeing the end of season number one at the end of season number one, Russell Westbrook actually wins the MVP award. 23 points, 9.5 rebounds, 9 assists, 2.5 steals, and half a block. And he is on the Bucks, and they did finish with the best record in the Eastern Conference. Jaleel wins the Rookie of the Year as a member of the Miami Heat. Thaddeus Young wins sixth man as a member of the Spurs. Rudy Gobert, our starting center, wins the Defensive Player of the Year award. 7 points, 13 boards, and about two blocks per game. Dante Exum on the Cavs wins most approved player, and Jason Kidd wins the coach of the year. Like I said, the Bucks, they are first in the East, and they went 60 and 22. Here's the all NBA first team. I'm not going to say every single name and what team they are on. You can just see them and stop the video if you want to see which team your favorite player is on. Rudy Gobert does make the all defensive first team, though. That is great to see. And other than that, really. There's nobody that made... It. Yo, hold up. The Magic got Carl Anthony Towns and Chris Stops. Dude, that team... That that front court in like five years would be absolutely deadly. And they got Cameron Payne, man. All right. 
So we finished with the seventh best record in the Eastern Conference, 43 and 39. Here is our rotation, but Jeff Teague is hurt, and uh, I have no idea where. Wow, we're actually bringing JJ Redick off the bench. That doesn't make any sense in the slightest. Here are the standings: the Bucks 16 and 22, Hornets 59 and 23, and then the rest just really weren't even good enough to be with them. And then here is the Western Conference, and I wish that I could see who was on each team. Okay, you know what? Let's just go to the Nuggets. The Nuggets have Harden and DeAndre and Giannis and Ed Davis, and that's basically it. And then I think I totally forget which team is second. The Hornets. Let's see who the Hornets have. And then when we will get started with the playoffs. Hornets have Kevin Durant, Brooke Lopez, Reggie Jackson, Marcus Smart, Julius Randle, Lance. Okay, all right. Let's just see how we do in the playoffs. Speaking of the Hornets, we are going right up against them here in round number one. We lose by three in game one. Lose by 17 in game two. Lose by 20 in game three. And they just swept us as we do lose in four games. Let's see who wins the title. The Bucks lose in the first round. It's the Sixers and the Lakers. Do you know how ironic it is that the Sixers and Lakers met up in the finals? Here's who the Lakers had on their team. They brought Ray Allen in, Blake Griffin, stayed in L.A., Ginobili, Chalmers, Whiteside, Paul Pierce, Boozer, and then on the Sixers, they had Jamal Crawford, Jan Mahimi, uh, Derek Favors, Clint Capella, Sean Livingston. Yo, both of these teams were, like, pretty trash, but the Lakers are your 2015-2016 NBA champions as Blake Griffin wins the finals MVP in five games, averaged 19.5 points, 10 boards, I mean, nine boards, whoops, Five assists, one steal, and one block. In this trade, I will be sending Jeff Teague, George Hill, and Alexis Ajinka to the Portland Trailblazers for Darren Collison and Terrence Ross. I feel like it's time for a new face at point guard. And, you know, Darren Collison was actually the only point guard that I could get out of these trades. And I didn't want to get a small forward and then turn that into a point guard. Free agency has just passed, and these are the players that I decided to sign to contracts. So first, we have Mike Conley. Uh, reason being, I just wanted a better starting point guard. Now, you're probably saying, well, you did get Darren Collison. Yes, I know that, but he can be our sixth man, because I don't even think we have a sixth man, to be honest. I mean, do I really want Terrence Ross or Darren Collison being my sixth man? Answer is Darren Collison. I also went ahead and brought Boban Marjanovic to be Rudy Gobert's backup center. I brought in Lance Thomas, David West, and Deion Waiters, and released Jason Richardson because he was not going to contribute to this team whatsoever. Some trades definitely will be happening at the start of Season 2. Hopefully, hopefully they will be happening. But if not, then I'm not too sure how well we can do this year. I mean, obviously, I would still like to make the playoffs. But in terms of winning a championship, I have no idea how far we can actually get in the playoffs. In this trade, I will be sending Lance Thomas and Omri Caspi to the Oklahoma City Thunder for Michael Kidd, Gilchrist, and Norman Powell. Reason why I am accepting this trade, I did want an upgrade at the small forward position. He has an 85 standing shot mid, and his defense is very, very good. 87 on-ball defense, 83 pick-and-roll defensive IQ, has an 86 defensive rebound, and an 85 box out for a small forward. I will definitely go ahead and accept this trade. Now, I think this leaves us with like four shooting guards. Uh, yeah, four shooting guards. So Norman Powell, actually, Russell Butler, you will be released. And of course, I need to keep at least 13 players on the team. So this is how the team is looking at the start of season number two. We got Mike Conley, JJ Redick, Michael K. Gilchrist, Serge Ibaka, and Rudy Gobert. Like I said, I have no idea how this team is going to do if we do make it to the playoffs. I hope we can, and I hope we can end up going far, moving along, and you know what? If the start of this season is a preview of what's to come, we're going to be in some pretty good shape. At the end of Season 2, Russell Westbrook wins back-to-back -back MVP awards. I guess this just proves what he can do without Kevin Durant on his team, I guess. I don't know. Ben Simmons wins the Rookie of the Year as a member of the Phoenix Suns. Ricky Rubio wins Sixth Man of the Year as a member of the, of the Thunder. Anthony Davis got drafted by the Atlanta Hawks as he does win the Defensive Player of the Year award. Zach Levine is on the Heat. He wins Most Approved Player. And Steve Clifford, coach of the Hornets, they went 59-23, good enough for first in the Eastern Conference. 
Same as last season, I'm not going to stop and go over every single player. You can just pause it to see where your favorite player ended up. And hopefully we can have somebody from our team get an award. And there he is, Serge Ibaka made the all-defensive second team. Numbers on the year, 15 points, 7 boards, 1 assist, half a steal, and 2 blocks. Great to see from our starting power forward. Then the all-rookie first team and all-rookie second team. Taking a look at the standings, we did finish with the fourth best record in the Eastern Conference. Only one game behind the Bucks and Magic, who were nine games behind the Hornets. Here are the rest of the standings. I'm not sure how much these matter, considering you guys have no idea who is on these teams. But if you're curious, uh, the Lakers are first in the West. And let me just check out their team and just see if they added anybody. They added Whiteside in free agency. Yo, Griffin and Whiteside. Like, ew. Yo, they have three centers. Why? Do, four centers, yo. The Lakers are turning in to the Philadelphia 76ers. So, first round, we are going up against the Detroit Pistons. They win game one by 16 and game two by 14. We win game number three and we tie it up at two apiece. And we've won three games in a row and we're about to win. Never mind. Never mind. I thought we were going to win in six. Instead, it looks like we're going to win in seven. But hey. It's fine. As long as we win the series, I am perfectly fine with that. And it's kind of, nope, not looking good at all. Seven points. Kind of close. Not really. All right. So we get eliminated in the first round, losing by 13 in game seven, man. We just did not come to play, which means the next season it is championship or, or bust as the Indiana Pacers. Wow. Yo, I'm I'm pretty sure they were up three games to zero. Let's see, game one, game two, game three. Yo, they were up three games to zero, and they managed to lose to this Nuggets team with James Harden, Brandon Ingram, Giannis, uh, Ramon Sessions, Joe Kitsch, Mo Williams, I mean, DeAndre Jordan. Okay, uh, I can see how this team came back from seven games, well, from being down 3-0. As James Harden wins the finals MVP in seven games, average about 22.5 points, 5.5 boards, Eight assists, two and a half steals, half a block, and four turnovers. After day one of free agency, these are the three players that want to sign with us. Giannis, J.J. Redick, and Darren Collison. The reason why I have Jeff Teague here is because he was a backup plan in case Darren Collison did not sign with us. Look at this, man. C.J. McCollum accepted another offer, which, I mean, that makes sense. He's going to go back to the Timberwolves. Sergi Baca is going to the damn Kings. So either I got to try to get him back or I have to try to get a better power forward. I mean, right now we don't have any power forwards. So I said that I did need a better power forward. And let's see if the New York Knicks will accept this trade. Now, you're probably wondering who this Raleigh Alkins dude is. Uh, he's from North Carolina State. Yeah, we had the fourth pick in the draft and I didn't even realize it until right now. So this is who we drafted. I mean, his stats aren't the best, uh, but, you know, obviously he's a rookie. He will get a lot better. Let's go ahead and trade him to the to the New York Knicks along with Deion Waiters and Terrence Ross for Kenneth Freed, Will Barton, and Pat Connaughton. And all they want is Reggie Evans for Tyler Ennis. All right, let's go ahead and accept this trade. We do have our new starting power forward. Now, yes, I'm not the biggest fan of Kenneth Freed, but when you need a power forward, he will definitely get the job done for us. Let's go ahead and simulate to the trade deadline. Now, I don't envision myself making any trades just because I feel like this team will be good enough to make a deep run in the playoffs. But if I do, you guys will be seeing that. If not, you will be seeing if Russell Westbrook can win three straight MVP awards. And would you look at that? Russell Westbrook actually ends up winning three straight MVP awards, this time almost averaging a triple-double in the process. Josh Jackson wins the Rookie of the Year. Dwayne Wade wins sixth man. Uh, he is backing up Bradley Beal. I did check to see if I could actually trade for Bradley Beal before I simulated, and that is who he is backing up. Rudy Gobert, our starting center, wins the Defensive Player of the Year award. Seven and a half points, 12 boards, one and a half boards or assists, half a steal, and two and a half blocks. Demetrius Jackson wins the Most Improved Player, and our coach, Tyron Lue, wins the Coach of the Year, 67-15. and 15. Good enough for first in the Eastern Conference. Just like the past two seasons, I'm not going to go through everybody's name. You can just see if your favorite player made this. Rudy Gobert does make the All-Defensive First Team, though. That is great to see. And then the All-Rookie First Team and All-Rookie Second Team. So we actually ended up finishing first in the Eastern Conference, like I said, 10 games ahead of the Hornets for first. We went 67 and 15, and there are the standings in the East. 
and the standings in the West. Lakers only go six games above 500. The Kings, which is where Ibaka went, they go 57 and 25. Let's get right on into this first round series against the Cleveland Cavaliers as we do win game one and a game two and game three. Can we just hit them with a nice sweep? Yes, we can. Of course we can. Now we're going up against the Indiana Pacers. Let me show you who is on their roster. They got Kyrie, Greg Monroe, Joel Embiid, Tobias Harris, Furkan Korkmaz, uh, Henson, Pekovic. Yo, this team has four centers. I don't understand why these teams have so many damn centers, but... Okay, you know what? Maybe, maybe it actually works for them as we do in game three and game four and we do end up winning in five games. Now we're going up against Kevin Durant and the New Orleans Horns. They got Kevin Durant, Brooke Lopez, Reggie Jackson, Randall Smart, Lance Kaminsky. Wow, they actually brought two members of the Hornets back even though Lance isn't on the Hornets now. Former member of the Hornets, Taj, Jonathan Simmons. All right, we can definitely beat this team. Hopefully, Hopefully we can beat this team, man. Uh, it is tied at one game apiece. We win game three and game four. And we do end up making it to the NBA Finals. And we're facing the reigning, cha the reigning, reigning champions, if I can get that out of my mouth correctly, Denver Nuggets. Now, they got James Harden, DeAndre, Brandon Ingram, Rubio, Ed Davis, Joe Kitch, Ramon Set. You know what? We can beat this team. I have full confidence that we can definitely, of course, as soon as I say that, we lose by one in game number one but we do end up winning game two by four points they win game three and game four this cannot be happening is anybody hurt nobody is hurt which is a good thing but we're down three games to one against a team that was 10 games above 500 so we got to come back from being 3-1 down and not lose in the NBA Finals. That's not what I'm looking to do. Three-point game. We take the lead, kind of. Oh, there we go. We took the lead, and we are probably... No. No. Don't you dare tell me they just tied it up, man. We were up by six. All right. Well, good thing is we have the ball. Bad thing is this lineup isn't necessarily what I wanted. I would like to have J.J. Redding out here. But I have no idea what we are going to do for this final play of the game. Honestly, I would love just a nice pick and roll. That'd be great. Can somebody just send me a screen? Gobert, send me a screen. Go to the basket and win this game for us. Rudy Gobert. Rudy Gobert with the one-handed slam. All right, 2.7 left. And basically, we just need to stop James Harden from hitting a full-court shot. And he does not. So we are on to game number six. We live to see another day. Game six in Denver. If we win this game, we are back home where we are comfortable and we just absolutely demolished them. Winning by 20 in game six. JJ Redick with 28 points. Gobert had a double double. Same with MKG. Same with Mike Conley. Giannis with a nice all around game. And for them, Brandon Ingram and James Harden combined for 47 points. Ramon Sessions was their third leading scorer. Like, if Ramon Sessions is your third leading scorer, you're not winning games, all right? So here we go. Game seven, we are at home, 67 and 15. That was our record, and we are getting taken to seven games by a team that was 46 and 36. We got to win this game, y'all. We got to win this game. It's looking good. I'm going to put this on fast. Okay, all right. And I think, I think we're good. I Yes, we are good. So we are going to end up winning the NBA championship in our third season, our very last season. It was championship or bust, like I said, and this team definitely did not disappoint. Kenneth Reed with 21 and 10. Uh, Darren Collison, 24 and 9. Giannis, 21 and 7. Where is Rudy Gobert? Uh, he, he does have five fouls, but eight points and 12 boards. And for the Nuggets, Harden with 33. What is up with Ramon Sessions? He, oh, he has a 97 mid-range since when, bro?
We did end up winning in seven games. Mike Conley was your finals MVP. And here's the championship roster at the end of three seasons, led by Mike Conley, Giannis Antetokounmpo, Rudy Gobert, Kenneth Fareed, Michael Kidd Gilchrist, Darren Collison, JJ Redick, Boban Marjanovic, Will Barton, Tyler Ennis, Pat Connaughton, Jeff Adrian, and Carson George. I have no idea who he is. Uh, I think he's auto-generated, but that is going to be it for me. Make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you guys did enjoy. This challenge was a success. We did win in three seasons. The final year that we had to win it, we did in seven games against the Nuggets. Make sure to leave your challenge suggestions down in the comments down below. And if I remember to take a screenshot of your comment, it might go up in the beginning of the video. That is if I remember. But then again, I have really bad memory. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys all next time. Peace.